Welcome back to my channel and Happy New Year even though it's almost the end of the January but whatever is still the new year. It's been taking quite a long time for me to come up with this video because I wanted to take some time off to think of what are my goals and how would I want them to be achieved instead of just doing it for the sake of because it's the new year so everyone is doing a new year resolution or like new year reset video or vlog. 
so yes this video came in rather late but then i've finally come up with some of my own things that i want to achieve or improve in the year of 2022 time really flies because it's already the end of the month end of the first month of the new year it's the 27th of january today so i hope everyone's new year has been going well and you will be able to achieve whatever you want through the year firstly we have some of the long-term goals or like whatever that i want to improve myself furthermore in the year of 2022 firstly is self-reflection so before you start your new year i think it's important for us to have a self-reflection on what we did last year or the previous years that we need ourselves to improve on because you it's, it's not just like when you think and everything just come out as oh i want to improve this i'm improving this before anything self-reflection is the first one because you need to clean up the things first only then you can continue with your journey my my notion is over here so <laughs> i'm looking i'm always looking to the side secondly is goal setting organization and also planning whether or not it's on a platform or on a book or wherever you feel like putting all your organizations and plannings organization organization doesn't sound right organizing okay i would recommend a platform or a book because that's more well uh well arranged any platform it is just note down whatever you want to achieve or whatever you need to do in whether it's a new near future or your whole plan so for mine, I use Notion. This is not sponsored, but I really like Notion because there are so many customizable things you can do for your own, according to your own preferences. So Notion is a very great platform for me to plan all of my things, whether it's school-wise or uh, job-wise or work-wise or career-wise or business-wise, whatever it is up to your preference. Just write down so that you don't forget what your goals are on your way to achieving that goal because some people get distracted it's very easy to get distracted i'm not saying that this is an example and you should follow my template or whatever i don't have a template or whatever i just create my own templates that suits me the most i think that i think suits me the most so you will have to go and explore a bit whether it's on a platform or on a book whatever yes and then uh, the third one, my third goal is to read more because everyone, a lot of people they set on how many books they want to read in a year but I myself, I'm a very 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 slow reader even though I say I fly by a book very fast, it means one week yes, some people read in one sitting, in one day or like in two days but I cannot, I don't think I'm a very productive reader I don't know if that term is correctly used but then I am a very slow reader so I'm not trying to push myself to achieve or read how many particular number of books in a year because I don't know if I'm able to do it or not it's good to set a particular goal but reading I need to go a little bit lenient on myself and for the third thing is to create a to-do list to-do list is a very 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 important key to productivity and also efficiency because if you don't know what you're going to do, you're not going to do anything. To-do list, I started doing to-do list almost a year ago or two years. I think it's around the time where online class started or when this whole pandemic started when I have online classes at home and I will have to do my work, everything. Everything school work wise and actual work wise or whatever wise at home on my desk. Literally everything that, re that needs me to do something like this is on my desk because you can't go out anywhere, right? So to-do list has been a very important element to my productivity because I write down everything I need to do even to the smallest things like uploading a picture, writing a line for social media content. It's long because you include the smallest thing ever inside the to-do list when you know you once you're done you can just take it off and that's a very satisfying process trust me taking off your to-do list is so satisfying i love it so much but i don't really like seeing my to-do list being long because that means i have a lot of things to do 
yes as a student and also a content creator we have a lot of deadlines to meet and as a uni students deadlines are very crucial to do list is so helpful i love to do this for the fourth thing i would like myself to improve on or even consider as starting off is finance management because as a student we don't really earn our own money yet i mean enough money to make a living because most of the people are getting allowance from parents or if they are hardworking or if they have the free time to do so they will go for part-time jobs so whether or not it's a salary that makes you uh, helps you to make a living or allow from your parents it's still very important to manage your finances because money doesn't just come continuously you need to save up you will need to prioritize which um, you need to prioritize on what you need to spend on first if you have debts or if you have the bills to pay off for now as a student I don't really have too much debts or I don't really have bills to pay off because my parents are still doing that but I will have to manage my own finance on whether should I spend that much money when I go out for a dinner with my friend or should I get this thing that I have been eyeing for a very long time but it doesn't really help me I don't really need it I just want it there's so many things we want to get but there's just so limited amount of money so finance management is definitely something I would like to start off this year to see if I would like to save up or like spend our money wisely these are my kind of long-term goals stuff that I want to improve in a long term time within like in a span of few months or even two years because this is not something I want myself to get done within the year of 2022 you still can improve continuously gradually now I will come up with some of my short term goals short term as in daily actions that I want to slowly improve on so that I am healthier mentally physically or whether it's not healthier is that I'm more together keeping my life together here are some of the daily actions I've come up with firstly is keeping your environment clean I heard someone say that keeping your environment clean helps with productivity and efficiency because when you see your place is tidy and clean, it lifts up your mood and also so that it improves your uh, productivity. Secondly is keeping small habits. Small habits leads to huge lifestyle. You see a tissue on your table, remember to take it out to throw immediately. Or once you are done with your food, wash your dishes immediately. And then third one is very close to the second one which is maintaining a healthy diet. I like to eat junk food. <laughs> But I will try to just I will try to control. It's not that I didn't control previously, but I will try to control actually seriously control to see whether I'm eating healthily or not. And for the fourth, which is the last point as well, is time management. Why is time management not under the long-term goals? It's because time management is so crucial that it's always around your life because if you don't manage your time well, the time just slips off and your time is gone. I would never be the best at time management but I want to be better at it, at least better than me last year. So here are some of my reset goal setting for 2022 or like new year resolution and I hope it helps even though it's not maybe you can just watch and yeah subscribe and give it a like I will try to do better videos in the future so that's all for today's video I hope you like it and I will see you in my next video bye I got my head out this I'm blasting my favorite tunes I only Cool and kind